I'm at the Colditz Cove State Natural Area. It's a 165 acre park in North Tennessee. Colditz Cove is also the home of Northrup Falls, a 60 foot tall waterfall named after a family who operated a mill here in the 1800s. According to all trails, we're gonna be doing 1.4 miles and over 100 feet of elevation gain. Although the sign back there said two miles total, so we'll see how accurate all trails is. The trail is home to a lot of rock houses and cliff facings that the Aboriginal Indians dwelled in over 3,000 years ago. Northrop Falls falls into Big Branch Creek, which is supposedly gonna be the home of a lot of white pines and hemlocks. pretty specimen of tick clover. Tick clover attracts butterflies, bees, and birds to it. But also, rabbit and deer also love the plant. Okay, so it's just rain. It's pretty daggum humid out here. I'm hoping that it rained enough that we're gonna get more than a trickle at Northrop today. Okay, so a blackberry bramble. As y'all know, blackberries are daggum good, but they're also important for the wildlife provide an important source of nutrition. All right, these trees are proving to be pretty darn big. Okay, now we've got to decide left or right to the right I hear the water I also hear people to the left maybe they'll be gone by the time we get back okay yeah it looks like they're having a lot of fun down there so we're gonna take a left but it is a lollipop loop so we will come back around to the falls Very cool. This is Laurel or Rondo Dendron, maybe. Perhaps you've heard of that before. You've probably spotted it with the leaves. You can tell just looking at it. So, you've probably seen Laurel before. It produces really pretty white and pink flowers. Definitely a lot of hazards along the trail. So you see, the uh, cliff is just open, you could fall off, and the uh, footbridge was kind of slippery when I went through it earlier. So Colditz Cove was designated a state natural area in 1973 by the state of Tennessee. At that time, only 30 acres were designated in the area. In 1984, another 42 acres were added to the park through a donation. And in 2001, the state of Tennessee purchased over 90 more acres, doubling the original size of the park. Okay, looks like we are descending into the gorge. This gorge is officially known as Big Branch Canyon. Crazy rock formation. Now a little bit about plants, a little bit about mushrooms. I don't know anything about rocks. So I'm make that my goal this year. I'm gonna learn about all these rock features. I'll tell you guys about them.
just a little bit of mud. And I have to have some ninja skills on this one. It's humid. Ain't no doubt about that. I'm sweating profusely. In addition to all the laurel here, we've got ferns and we've got moss. So, one of the things I want to talk about on this hike is the fact that I hike solo most of the time, as you guys have seen. And I want everyone to know there's nothing wrong with that. For the longest time, I thought you had to go with someone to be out here in the woods. I thought it was safe that way or, you know, I had many reasons not to do it. But what happened was, I ended up staying at the house, doing nothing. So, if this is something you want to do, make yourself do it. Falls are getting louder. So close now. Up falls, everybody. what it's all about. Got awesome, awesome time here at the falls. Have to be careful though on this rock facing and it looks quite dangerous. <laughs>
that one. That miniature ordeal. Looks like another waterfall. This trail is the gift that keeps giving. It's the dry season right now, y'all. And I'm gonna say, I think Northrop might be uh, entirely underrated in waterfall in Tennessee. I cannot imagine that thing after it's been raining for a week. Side Quest Trail, right here. Let's see what this one's about. Nothing crazy spectacular, but let's put it into perspective uh, how tall the waterfall is from the canyon down there. Okay, there's a sign to the parking area. As always, if you enjoyed this content, please hit that like button and also subscribe so you can see my next trail. Woo! All right, everybody. Had a great time visiting Northrop Falls in the Coldest Cove State Natural Area. Was an awesome, awesome trail. Cannot recommend it enough. Let's drop the stats and check out what I did here. 1.79 miles. That's a little bit more than anticipated, but not much. But here it is, 200 feet of elevation gain. Didn't feel it. Did not feel it at all. It's been almost two hours out on the trail. Could have spent more had I brought a lunch or played in the water a little bit longer. Now, I do want to say, caution everybody, this trail, it's pretty darn easy. Maybe a little on the moderate side for some of y'all, but it can be dangerous. There's slippery rocks, there's slippery bridges, and there's cliff facings without rails. So if you don't know what you're doing or you're not paying attention, you can get it hurt out here pretty bad. So anyways, take care of yourself. See you next time.